everyone, we are going to solve any puncture procedure through this video. Uh, my name is Susama. Uh, here is Naren and this is Santos. Uh, we are going to demonstrate uh, how to do any puncture in a patient. Before you begin with the procedure, make sure you wash your hand, apply personal protective equipment like gloves and lab coat to prevent yourself from contamination. Make sure to identify the patient, match the patient's information with the information on the requisition form, collect the equipment, we need alcohol swab, gauze pad, needle, needle holder, collection tube, and tourniquet for the venipuncture. Put the patient's arm in right position. Apply the tourniquet. The tourniquet should be applied 3 to 4 inches above the puncture site. Find the vein to draw the blood from. Palpate the vein. The vein feels spongy. Remove the tourniquet. The tourniquet should not be on for longer than one minute. Sterile the puncture site with 70% alcohol swab. Lay the area here dry. Do not blow. Assemble the needle to the holder. Do not repalpate the vein after sterilizing the site. Before puncturing, make sure the needle is beveled up and is at 50 to 30 degree angle to the vein. Anchor the vein below the puncture site to prevent it from rolling. Push the needle to the, through the skin and into the vein quickly and smoothly. A sensation of resistance will be felt, followed by the ease when the vein is entered. After the needle is inside the vein, release the tourniquet to allow the flow of blood. Withdraw the desired amount of blood into the syringe. Position the gauze pad above the needle. Make sure to label the tube with patient's information and record the date and time of collection and proceed with the transport of the tube to the laboratory.